Hi everyone, in a previous video I used Node MCU to act as an interface between the smartphone and the LoRa device that uses serial to communicate. It turns out there's already a device that uses the LoRaWAN protocol and it has a USB connection on it along with the appropriate chip so it can directly be interfaced using a phone or a computer. And here is the module up close, it is made by the company called Dragino. If you recalled a few videos ago, I've installed one of their gateways, you can check that video up here. And this one is a nice little module that you can directly plug into USB. And using USB to USB-C adapter, you can also plug it to any smartphone that uh, supports USB on the go. The module can be used to directly over serial send data to LoRaWAN because it's already pre-configured to work with LoRaWAN. But it can also be used in a peer-to-peer -peer setup, similar to what I had in my previous video with the GPS tracker. Additionally, Dragino also provides a mobile app that you can directly connect and immediately have this module sending GPS data from the phone over LoRaWAN to your application. The USB to serial communication is handled by the CP2102 chip, which is the de facto standard in USB to serial. And it has also a built-in antenna as well as an antenna connector that you can connect an external antenna. It can be ordered in different frequencies. This mine is 868 megahertz, which is the standard in my country and you can also have it at 433 as well as 915 megahertz. Now let's jump to the computer so I can show you how you can connect this to the things network and also how you can use it. And to do that, I will be following the official Dragino documentation that you can find the links down in the video description. They have several examples and I'll be using the one with, that uses the adapter with the mobile app that they provide. The app is intended as an um, interaction tool with the device where it automatically sends the GPS location from the phone via LoRaWAN networks on the Things tag. And for that, we'll need to register the device with the Things tag. And to do that, we need an application. The application is like a um, holding place for all of your devices of a single purpose. This is uh, just a test device and I'll register it on the test application that they created for it. At the beginning, I wanted to use the provided QR code from Dragino, but for some reason, the thing stack didn't want it to work with my camera. I don't know if it was a permission issue or something locally on my laptop, or I don't know, it maybe had a bad day, but eventually it didn't work out and I had to switch to setting the device manually where you need to specify the LoRaWAN uh, and the parameter versions and also all the keys as provided from your device manufacturer. I started entering the keys, but you'll see later that I made a mistake using the wrong LoRaWAN specification. I chose 1.1.0 while my device was registered and set up with uh, 1.0.3. When I finalized all the provisioning information entering and I finally created the device, it was successfully created, but uh, when it tried to register on the network, then I was getting errors in the data. Specifically, I was getting a message that the death nones is too small. After searching online, I realized uh, where the mistake was made and I read the documentation once again to realize that the device uses 1.0.3 LoRaWAN specification and I was able to change that within the general settings uh, of the device and within the network layer you are able to specify a different specification so I chose the right one which was 1.0.3 and after restarting the device and resetting everything, it immediately got connected and now it successfully joined the network and I was able to successfully send data from the serial port utility uh, because I had the device connected to my laptop and I was able to successfully get that uh, data within ThingStack. So with everything working, I plugged the device to my phone using the OTG adapter and immediately I started seeing the location data that the application sends out with the LA66 module and that worked 
as expected. I was not seeing any issues. I was able to see the payload, although I was missing the payload formatter, which I would then later on add to the um, to the end device. So with everything ready, it was now time to set up the Node-RED um, flow that uh, Dragino also provides in their documentation. I'm no expert at Node-RED, so I won't be diving into details on how it did the whole setup. I must say that I had great help from the support team at Dragino, so I'm really thankful for that. And after having the entire flow connected, installing all of the missing uh, modules, we need the Node-RED dashboard, Node-RED Node SQLite, and the world map modules so we can have a dashboard that is uh, showing us a map where we can plot the, the location of the device that is being sent uh, from the mobile app. After everything was installed, we are presented with this dashboard uh, that we can then customize, but I left it default for the purposes of the demonstration and I connected the application um, and the device to my phone and I immediately started receiving and having the location shown on the map. Now, this is currently in my office, so you can see I'm getting really strong signal from the gateway, but as soon as I started uh, driving around in my car to test out what the range will be, I was immediately faced with exactly the same issue that I was having when I was testing the LoRa peer-to-peer connection. When moving through the town, it turns out that my house is uh, situated in a way that it uh, hides most of the town, so it's closed to the area down below, but it's more open in the area on the right of the map. So driving through the town, I wasn't seeing anything, and then only when I reached a point where I was near the gateway with a line of sight, then it started connecting and displaying the data again. So... Keep in mind in any LoRaWAN application or in any LoRa application in general that you need to have a general line of sight with uh, your gateway. So, and if you're in an area that has multiple gateways being set up, then you should have no issues. Unfortunately, it appears that in my area, only I have a gateway currently set up and no one else is using LoRaWAN. Hopefully that will change in the future we still will see how that goes but if you don't have access to the gateway then unfortunately a lora fan will not be able to send the data and as you can see on the left where you would get a lot of timeouts and a lot of errors when trying to send the data over the network now when i've reached uh, to an area which again had the line of sight with the gateway the gateway immediately connected and I was able to once again send my location and I received it in Node-RED, but that didn't last it very long because once again, I continued driving away from the gateway and the connection again broke because I was behind this um, hill, this small hump in the landscape that is covering my house from the rest of the city. At this point, I wasn't really sure if uh, the whole recording setup works because I had the screen recorded unattended on my laptop at home. So when I saw that uh, I'm getting the position and everything is showing up uh, within Node-RED, then I went out to drive around the town again. But this time, I also um, went across the town on another hill and you can see here that I was immediately able to establish a connection, even though the gateway is like four walls um, in the direction of where I was. But as soon as I started going downhill from the position that has line of sight with my house, I again lost uh, connection. And you can see now on the left, it will start to have errors uh, on the console and not deliver any any packages so i have to point out that you will need to have either multiple gateways set up in the area or you need to be able to have line of sight or be relatively close to where your gateway is so as you can see now once again when i got close to uh, to the gateway at about uh, 800 meters 
I was once again being able to transmit the data. And this is um, like a, just a confirmation of the information that I already know. Hopefully, I should find a better placement for the gateway at my house. Currently, it's sitting next to me in my office, and I plan to move it on the attic of the house. That should give the gateway a bit of height, and also it should clear up some of the restrictions uh, that it currently has from the walls around my office and the house. And if you are interested to see that and maybe see even more experiments with Loravan and more projects with Loravan in general, then be sure to subscribe to the channel because I have them coming. Um, in the meantime, if you have any questions regarding Loravan and the setup, uh, let me know down in the comments. And you can also watch this uh, example video where I made a GPS tracking device with Lora where the device was not using GSM to send and receive the data and it was completely disconnected from the network.